Hello, my name is Brandon Johnson, and this video continues my demonstration of the Siemens Somatic IT XFP Manufacturing Execution System platform. In the previous segment, we toured XFP's EBR design capabilities, and we began the execution of our electronic batch record. The next task in our EBR execution is to weigh all of the required items on our work order's bill of materials. Weighing is one of the core MES functions and there is a standard module to handle it. In this video, I will continue the execution of our EBR and demonstrate the weighing functionality. Here we can see a task named Material Weighing in the EBR execution task list. I'll double click on the task to launch it. Since this is a weighing task, XFP launches the weighing screen instead of standard process instructions. The weighing screen contains all of the information that an operator needs to be able to identify and weigh the right quantities of the right materials to satisfy the work order. Along the right side of the screen are navigation buttons that allow us to perform various tasks. Clicking the work order details button opens a screen that displays the details of this work order's bill of materials. The MES can generate work orders and bombs internally or can be fully integrated with an ERP system and receive work orders and bombs via that interface. Here we can see some additional details about the work order as well as all of the materials in the bomb. The RM buttons allow the operator to navigate through all of the raw materials that need to be weighed to satisfy our bill of materials. Other buttons allow the operator to select which scale will be used for weighing or choose between common weighing modes including net, gross, subtract, and many others. At the top of the screen, some contextual data is visible, including work order number, lot number, finished good product ID, operator ID, etc. Below that, any relevant hazard and precautionary pictograms for the material to be weighed are displayed. Relevant storage and handling instructions are displayed as well. In this case, the operator is warned that a mask and gloves are required for handling of the material. The phase, sequence, and dose numbers from the bill of materials are visible here as well. Beneath that, we have information on the material to be weighed. Our item's ID is DS0001, and its description is Drug Substance 1. We are instructed to weigh 1,000 grams from a lot with a potency of 95%. Finally, there is a container identification field where we can scan the container ID of our source container and begin weighing. Note that if I try to identify an expired lot, the MES will not allow me to continue. Similarly, if a lot of the wrong material is scanned, an error message is shown and the operator cannot continue. The controls and features of the weighing module ensure that the correct quantities of the correct materials are weighed and tracked within the EBR. I'll scan a container of drug substance 1. The details of the container are displayed below the container identification field. The lot number, container number, and potency are all visible. It's important to note that the bill of materials calls for 1,000 grams of drug substance 1 at 95% potency. Since the lot identified is only at 94.5% potency, the MES has automatically adjusted the required amount and is calling for 1,005.291 grams from the identified container. It is also possible to define a required weight range within the MES. In the case of drug substance 1, the tolerance is set to plus or minus three-tenths of one percent. You can see that, based on this tolerance, the bomb line has an upper limit of 1,008.307 grams and a lower limit of 1,002.275 grams. I'll click the Validate button to confirm my source container selection and record a container tear weight of 100 grams. Next, I'll begin to weigh my material. XFP's weighing module fully integrates with scales connected via serial or USB ports. This scale interface allows the MES to display the quantity remaining to weigh and ensure that operators weigh the correct amount. 
As I add weight to the scale, the quantity left away is tracked and displayed automatically. As I approach my range, the bar graph at the bottom of the screen turns yellow to alert me that I have almost fulfilled the requirement. Once the required range is reached, the graph returns to green. If the range is exceeded, the graph turns red to alert the operator that too much weight has been added to the scale. If the weight is out of range, the operator will not be allowed to continue. With the weight range met, I will click the validate button to confirm. Here I am prompted to either print a label, cancel the weighing operation, or continue weighing with the same container. I'll choose to print my label now and perform an electronic signature to move on to the next material. Now that my weighing label has print, been printed, I'll click the validate button to release the scale and continue weighing. Notice I can exit the weighing screen at any time, but I will not be allowed to move on to the next task in the EBR until I have completely weighed all of the required materials. My only option is to reopen the weighing task and finish weighing. Using the RM buttons, I'll move to the next material and repeat the same process to weigh my aspartame and orange flavor ingredients. Once that's complete, we'll continue executing the rest of the EBR in the next video segment.